Greetings to all of you. My dear sisters and brothers and my dear friends, a warm welcome to all of you from your pastor, Yeti. Growing in grace. And for today, it is giving thanks always. Give thanks in all circumstances, for this is God's will for you in Christ Jesus. 1 Thessalonians 5.18 Christians are not exempt from life's difficulties and perplexities. There are experiences that come to us we simply don't understand or comprehend. Let's face it, there are times when it's very difficult to give thanks in all circumstances. There are some who say there is a difference between giving thanks in everything and giving thanks for everything. I would not argue with that at all. An understanding of scripture teaches me the Lord wants us to do both. The Apostle Paul wrote, always giving thanks to God the Father for everything in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Ephesians 5 verse 20 It is clear that God ex expects us to give thanks no matter what circumstances come our way. But well, let's give this understanding too. Some things can come to us that are really not in Jesus Christ, let me say this. And then I have a question for myself and maybe for you all too, that do we have to say thanks for, for this circumstance? I never heard a person say, thank you, God, that you make, you know, that I'm sick. Thank you for that. I think this is not a good thinking or an attitude to say that. Do you think God is commanding the impossible? God will never command us to do something. He will not give us the power to obey. So I read this text to you, always giving thanks to God the Father for everything in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. If he didn't give us the en enablement, he will be denying his own word. So when God commands us to be thankful for all things and in all things, he knows we will be more complete Christians because of it. If you reflect on the ministry of Jesus, his commandments were the enabling for people who do what they could not otherwise do. When Jesus commanded a paralytic to take up his bed and walk, and he did it. And Jesus commanded the dead man to come out of the grave, and he did it. The list is endless. Through the power of the Holy Spirit and the encouragement of the Word, God infuses us with his unequaled power to obey. In times of difficulties, it is helpful to remember God is still on the throne, and he has not abdicated his positions of ruling and Raining. The next time you are faced with adversities or painful circumstances, remember that your Father loves you and knows your circumstances. You can trust Him and declare with Job, Though He slay me, yet will I trust Him. Let us pray. Father, I know difficulties and adversities will come my way. I choose today to give you thanks always for and in all things. Amen. May the Almighty God bless you. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you, my dear ones. This is your Pastor Yeti. Bye.